Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Slide from my slime, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to leave it alone. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Ben? Uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I went X1 both locals. Uh, I'm playing uh, Fire King Snake Eyes. Uh, I actually quite like it with the Fire King stuff. Uh, today I fell back into the old time of I played two Fire King Island and I kept hard drawing one. And I was like, mm, this, this sucks. Was it the super or the common? Uh, well, you see, I started with two commons, and then when I, my first one got banished, I was like, okay, time to switch this one for the super I had in my deck box. <laughs> so I do still need one Super Viking Island, if anyone has one out there. Doesn't quite answer my question. Viking when Island. you were drawing yep. your... Oh, it switched. Okay. And then I realized that, like, I'm playing a super and a common, and now people can tell that I'm playing two, because now they can... And then when I play one rarity and it's not the other, but now I just told everyone. Uh, but yeah, if you could send me a Super Viking Island, literally anyone, that would be very much appreciated. Um, As if we don't have a second one lying around here somewhere. I knew I had one. I'd, it's only just come out. It's in the current OTS pack. Oh. Um, I was digging around trying to find it. I was like, I know where it is. Wait, what was the previous high rarity? It's in my car. Common. Common. Oh, I could They've swear. given us multiple commons. Yes. Huh. Yeah, so the previous highest rarity was first dev shift. Shivy? Shivy. Um, <laughs> so yeah, when X1 both locals, can't complain. Deck works quite well. Um, who would have guessed that just replacing the cards that are gone with cards that say, I am big, are great. It still sucks that you got one pop on it. My game three hand against Lucas. Uh, can we fix those blinds? I've just realized that that mm. is fucked. Jake, what are you doing, man? I put them back the way they were supposed to be. No, you didn't. Well, Otherwise... I would have only touched this blind, so I kind of possibly have moved that blind. No, you pull that one across. It's a problem. Anyway, now that my face is a nice, not light up white, like rags. Um, yeah, my game three hand against uh, Lucas was triple bonfire. And then I got... Uh, it was triple bonfire oak something. And was like, mm, this, this is terrible. It's really bad. So, yeah. Good work. Speaking of bonfire, have you done Master Duel to get it as your bank? Uh, I haven't played Master Duel in like a couple months. When does the pass reset? Tomorrow. <gasps> Not doing. I didn't even bought. I didn't even buy this pass. Ben, so disappointing. It's just gotten to the point where Master Duel is just the, the current format, and I'm just like, nah. I'm, I already play this enough physically. I'm not playing this online as well. I do have some news about that, which we'll get into soon, which may change your mind. It's gonna be leaks. Brag. How was your week? Uh, quite on the IRL front. Um, went to a Star Wars Unlimited tournament. Uh, there's a venue that doesn't suck in Canberra, but I don't think we'll ever have a Yu-Gi-Oh event there. So what's it called? Uh, it's it's run from a university because it's a technology like it's a society. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. But it's like, oh, I kind of wish tech, I wish kind of wish gaming societies or universities ran this a bit more because their facilities don't suck, especially on weekends. They do, um, the Pokemon one in Sydney is also run by UTS, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is, oh, it's really good. Hmm. I like that one. Uh, yeah, so, one day, one day we might be able to run events at universities, but until then, Jewel Academies? Uh, otherwise, I've been playing Master Jewel a little. Uh, the Jewel Trials was the, <coughs> pretty easy, well not. Excuse me. It's just like, uh, what deck do you think of in the Jewel Trials I chose? Boba I'm going to guess not tier element. Oh, no, no, I chose the Jesse Cotton deck one. Yeah, I feel like most people did. Yeah, yeah, and it's hell. <laughs> Can't do it, it sucks on phone, I've timed out, it's it's a disaster. But, playing tier again is you know, just what I know, so grind it out that way. It was an interesting way. list as well, but we'll get into that in a bit more detail shortly. Mm. Um, so yeah, for my week, um, being the grass is back and I do enjoy a mill deck, I oh, put together... Are we playing 60 cards today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, so yeah, I was playing 60 card Light Sworn tier. Um, I don't particularly like the list, um, so I'm going to change it. I'll probably add in the Fiend Smith stuff and change some things around and see how that goes, because I don't think I did particularly well at either locals this week. Um, I've not yet opened Grass. It makes me sad. That makes sense. Yeah. Why open Grass or Master Jewel? It was versus a 60 card list. Oh no. Well, you can mill five, I guess. So yeah, every time I, yeah, every time we open it, 
It's always against. It's always the mirror. We are less than a month from Rage of the Abyss, by the way. Just wanted to double check that. Mm. Um, outside of that, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> you just did. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then yeah, Master Duel, uh, still playing Hawkist. I managed to uh, summon the required number of Xyz, um for the Master Duel proficiency. I've now moved on, oh, I moved on to the next bit, which was summon 30 tokens. Uh, so I had to suffer through uh, Sword Soul in uh, Master Duel. It sucked real bad. Mm -hmm. Sucks real bad. It's really, really bad. Why, why would it be bad? They give it to everyone for free. The thing is, uh, Barone Chijiao is not enough to play through most interactions now. And also, you get Nibiru'd so much. Make Barone first. You don't have that option all the time. You have you to, to open the long option. one. And also, it horrendously loses to Maxi. Yes. But thankfully, I've summoned the required number of tokens. So Sword Soul can go back in this box and go away. Uh, so now all, well, I say all I have to do, what I have to do to reach the new max uh, Master Duel proficiency level is uh, win 100 duels, which will happen eventually, and create a chain link four or higher. So at some point I need to play two element. Oh, I thought you play chain burn. <laughs> I thought chain burn was coming out. No, at some point two element will have to come into the fray. Um, I could have done it in a duel the other day. I just didn't, like, I wasn't greedy enough. I could have just done a nightmare effect in graveyard. No, um, you can do it now. Actually, I don't know how you kill the mic again. Just put 40 traps into a deck that can all be chained and just, you're taking a loss, but you're, you're just doing oh, it. It'll, it'll happen naturally anyway. Like, with interactions and stuff, it'll just happen you eventually. You've got hundred wins to do it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's, yeah, it'll happen eventually. I'm not going to force it. Um, and then, yeah, uh, some new stuff came out, which we'll talk about in a second, um, which I'm excited for. So, uh... Do you, know, do you know if you resolve a chain link 10 or higher, uh, Jerome comes to your house and gives you a case of the new set? Okay, so I'm never going over, uh, nine. Why not? Because I don't want Jerome to come to my house. Oh, okay. God, sure. the hours that I play Master Jewel at, I would that would be kind of weird. <laughs> I was going to say, I generally play Master Jewel. <laughs> it's three in the morning. It's middle of, of the day eight. for Jerome. Hey, Duelists. I it's a terrible I, Jerome. I generally play in the evening, evening as well. And like, I'll only play a couple of duels and then I'll like, um, go out to the lounge room. Like, I'll not sit there for ages. So I can just imagine I've like resolved my chain links, the dude scooped, and then I walk out to my lounge room and through the window out in the car park, mm -hmm. I see the neon yellow of his tie coming towards yeah. our apartment block. I'm just like... Hold up the case coming. like the boombox. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even come to the door. He just levitates to my balcony. Going fast <laughs> makes me feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so moving on to news. So we'll start with uh, the World Championship, which concluded last week. Um, I was originally going to talk about the Master Duel um, deck list, but they got leaked, so there's no real point. Uh, so the winner was Jesse Cotton. No. Yes, Jesse Cotton's team? No. No, the other one. Ryan Yu's team. Whose team was it? I forgot. It was Ryan Yu's team. Who was just it, happened to have Jesse Cotton on Jesse his Cotton team. Jesse Cotton or Joshua Smith? I can't remember. It was Ryan Yu's team. Shut up. He had Jesse Cotton on his team. He's exactly. Because right. Jesse Cotton was a scrub who didn't qualify for Worlds, so he had to hitchhike off his friend. Yep. He is right. However, I haven't heard of Ryan Yu until just now. He's He was A, he was on their team last year, and B, was the Dragon Door World Champion from like years ago that played Chainburn and just fucking destroyed all ah, his team. Ah, you said years ago. I don't care. Okay, oh. sure. Hates the past. Yes, yeah, seven more I'm... YCS tops than you. Cool. Many people do. I don't care about them either. I just also I made up that number. That's fine. It might be correct. Also, I'm just taking the uh, naming rights of movies. Although, okay. like, there might be a really great actor in there. If Scarlett Johansson's in there, chances are she's gonna get named first. No. Yeah. Does Jesse Cotton get uh, put to the featured? Like the and featuring. They did feature him last, so it was yeah. like. So the Samuel Jackson yeah. treatment. Yeah. He's who else gets that? Morgan Freeman gets that sometimes. It was funny to watch like the final round where they were up like four zero. I think they just needed like one win, and Jesse Cotton just bricked and went uh, set one. Okay, guys, so you need to do this. Okay, you need to do that. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. I still like that they have that structure in the uh, muscle thing that like your middle person's like the man in the chair and just goes, yep, so this is how that works. I like that. Yeah. Actually, 
It's been a while since any of the stores around here have done a 3v3. I like 3v3s. Eh. Eh. Also, we need to do another tag. I'd rather do a 3v3 before a tag. We don't have the player base to do a 3v3 alone. That That's true. That oh, would yeah, be yeah, like no, three teams. Ha- <laughs> the 3v3 would have to be a statewide thing. Once, yes. 3v3, once, yes, win. At Wollongong Uni. Ooh. I mean, when you lose your round to whatever the meta decker is at the time, you can just go and do. Yeah, we never. Stuff. It would never be Com Day, which I did at the Star Wars tournament too. I don't just dish you your tournaments for Com, com Days. I, I only caught the fucking Galarian. Do you want a Kanto? Hmm? You want a Kanto? I think I have a Kanto, oh. but literally the only shinies I got were Galarian. Anyway, well, um, Catcher got me a shitload, so I was like, mm, cool. Uh, but then on to the TCG, um, I have a bit of a breakdown. I'm pretty sure this is for top 32, uh, but I wasn't given any official fees. Uh, so for top 32... There's only 26 players. Oh, then maybe there's 26. <laughs> uh, so the <laughs> breakdown that I have has uh, 43% Fiendsmith Snake Eye, uh, 29% Fiendsmith Ubel, 4% of Viking Snake Eyes and Melodious, 7% Ritual Beast, 7% Tempai. Uh, 3% Fiendsmith Labyrinth, and 3% Fiendsmith Rescue Base. Okay. Um, interesting note that I, uh, I gathered from Worlds this year. Distinct lack of OCG players in Top Cut. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, two so... Of eight. How many have we got here? One... Yeah, two. Two of eight in Top Cut. Back, from, back in the day when Top Cut used to be almost all OCG players. <laughs> Yeah, that is, yeah. I hadn't really taken note of that. Um, but speaking of the top eight, um, the deck breakdowns for that are... Oh, we did top eight. Um, hmm? Keep going. Oh, yeah, we covered this last week. Oh, we did? Yeah, oh, we, well, we, we just care about the winners from here on. Well, yeah, the winner is, uh, for the TC, uh, the card game, the physical one, uh, Ruben... No, is that you? Yeah, it yes. was Ruben. Yes. Uh, Ruben Penanata. Close enough. Uh, on Ubel Fiendsmith. He didn't uh, just do it for him, Bell. He did it for you, Bill. So many people have made that joke. <laughs> he and made I hate that it. joke. I hate it so much. I hate <laughs> it so much. <laughs> um, so taking a look at his deck list, how many hand traps has he got? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 hand traps. With another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in the side. I don't know why Ethan stopped playing you at locals. It gets very boring. He, yeah, but he also just gets free wins. <laughs> Every so often you want to change. Yeah. You didn't when you were on um, mm. Feedsmith Snake Eye. Start, I was general. racking up store credit. You I told, was like, mm. If you told me last Worlds that you will win next Worlds, it would be pretty wild. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that would have been just when it had the um, normal thing. It didn't have the throne. It didn't mm. have Phantom. Mm. Uh, you didn't keep rereading phantom to double check if there was a restriction and keep running into the thing if no you can just summon it multiple times <laughs> like a true gx card that card's yeah. so fucking dumb <sighs> anyway uh and then yeah obviously um i can't remember his name now who's the person you want to name uh you both no the team <laughs> not joshua <laughs> schmidt's team the other person's team Wait, right. you Master Duel. Yeah, that one. Yeah. They won Master Duel Worlds. Yes. Team 7. Yeah. The one thing I did uh, find interesting that I did wasn't really aware of with Master Duels, apparently they have, like, um, the card number restrictions apply for all of their decks. Yes, yes they yeah. choose three cards to keep for all players. Yeah, the winning I team chose Ash Maxi Callboy. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but it does put a extra... Um, like level of thought process into it it's not just yeah. i'm just gonna take whatever deck is the like the best so scuffed. <laughs> I love it. um but yeah speaking of the uh master duel winners uh we move over to some master duel news so in their current tryout duels uh they're allowing players to uh use those deck lists in order to do three matches three wins get you a pack of the new uh selection pack um so I won't go too much into the depth of it, but obviously you have the three brag, as you said, you chose uh, tier element. Uh, wouldn't cool. advise it on your phone. There's too many triggers. Your screen's too small. Um, 
I did find it to be an interesting list though. The um, dot scraper was an interesting addition. No, Oh, you didn't see that far? No. Yeah, so it was a dot scraper and two linger rebos in the side mm. so that you could like try and summon it and prevent your imperms and things from hitting your shit, yeah. which I thought was yeah. cute. Yeah. Uh, so that's running until I think Tuesday. Um, and then we've got a bunch of new packs as well. Um, so uh, Runic Pack got an update with uh, the new... Uh, actually, what did it get it updated with? I don't actually know what they added in. Oh, the new generator stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. We, we should be getting to that, right? Yeah, we get to that. Then infinite bin, forbidden time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then there's a new uh, Vetus pack. Uh, so it adds in the kind of bad... Uh, yeah, visa stuff last. it's like the random pendulum that likes stuff to be destroyed and all that kind of shit um but yeah sort of finishing that side of things off um and then the new selection packs uh so, do, 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 do. um the aim for the stars uh which is kind of just like a random mismatch of shit like they've chucked branded in they've got uh dragons in there like um only the stars of Yu Gi Oh effectively yeah uh labyrinth cards are in there transaction okay, rollbacks in the there the uh rika stuff is in there uh sun avalon stuff is in there i think so rika stuff it's a real um mismatch therion stuff like it's it's really bizarre um so stuff. and then the one that they seem to be giving out a lot of um for like their Sort of promotion stuff at the moment is the new selection pack the advance of great forces uh so this one has the ragnar Riker cards in it yep the new aromage cards in it yep. the new gen x cards in it and the new light swan cards and um what you might find interesting is i was watching a replay um as part of my master dual daily tasks and there's a light swan ftk oh <gasps> It only works in Master Duel, though, because you need snow to banish a bunch of stuff. Shocking. There's, like, yeah. this uh, rank 3 fish yep. that, like, burns your opponent for the number of banishes you have. And it's a uh, soft once per turn. You do the daily watches thingy? Yeah. It's five gems that accumulates. You wouldn't pay five gems and not do that? Yeah, how much is your time worth to you? I only watch it if it's interesting. Like, if I, oh, okay. if I bring up the dual live screen and I see... Either a deck that I'm wanting to build and I want to see sort of what people are putting into it or if it just looks like an interesting matchup, I will watch it. I used to have a rule that I would just watch Dark Magician because I'd watch them fucking throw so hard. Yeah, but those games would take so long. No, they don't. A, they're Dark Magician, so they lose almost immediately. B, there's a fast forward button. Sure. True. Yeah, sure. there is. I was wondering if, like, so they don't force, they don't strap open your eyes to watch it. No, no, no. You don't have to sit there and watch it. It's not like the theorized Google, I'm um, not Google ads, YouTube ads, where apparently now it tracks if your eyes are on the screen and it stops the ads. <laughs> I, I get premium. Can you transaction rollback DD Dynamite for game? Potentially. Or Magical Explosion? Ooh. Just thoughts. <laughs> Isn't Magical Explosion a spell? No, isn't it a trap? You can search it. Um, also I happening... I remember it, but my brain is broken. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff added into Master Duel 2. So the new solo mode is the updated Gen X with the Link monster. So it's a lot of normal summoning. Um, and it all ends in nothing. Uh, but they're mm, so cool. They, I mean, they're big... Synchro is kind of cool, but I kind of just assumed it was the Nomni Negate. But... Um, when I was versing the computer, it kept getting bounced back by a worm. So it's not an Omni Negate. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand okay. what it's meant to be. Um, the like, obviously, you get the sleeves and the icon like you usually do. But we also get a mate, uh, which is uh, the little Gen X controller that's oh. um, got a flower. Oh. Um, that useless piece of junk. It's like. Yeah, yeah, so um, it's a bit of a tearjerk at the solo mode because at the end, um, his friend slash lover is the one that's like in the Ally of Justice thing to control it and it gets like blown to pieces oh. and he like goes to see it and it dies and like oil comes out of his eyes, which oh. is meant to be tears and like this is the flower he was trying to give the dead friend 
It Poor was, Gen X controller. It, it was real sad. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be sad when I was playing a song. This is like why that. it's a garnet. <laughs> he is alone. Um, yeah, this. This moment. Oh, damn. So, um, if you're wanting to know, it's the artwork for Final Gesture. Um, so, yeah, real sad. See, you can see his little oh, he's got oily tear. Oh, a bit of oil. Just it's a crumb of oil. <laughs> it's really sad. Um, but then in the other asset side of things, outside of the solo mode, we get a new field spell, the Forest of the Trap Tricks. Okay. Ugh. Don't want that. Anyway, we move. Yeah, we move from Trap Tricks. Yes. And, we don't want to get demonetized. Uh, hence move from uh, Master Door onto the physical card game. So we got a whole bunch of product to announce this week. Uh, starting with uh, the speed roids uh, getting support in mm. the Supreme Darkness. Again. When you started, when you said, sp I was like, speed doors? <laughs> <laughs> speed. Um, so the summation of it is that they've got a new pendulum. Ulti Teratop. Hmm? Ulti uh, ult your your Ulti Teratop is not under the lounge anymore. What do you mean? I mean, all three of them. Oh, well, one of them is not on the lounge anymore. Cool. I think it's in one of those piles. The never-ending side quest of Bragg is to find his ulti territory. I mean, I'm not going to play this deck either, I should have it around. Um, so, with the deck, um, the basic summation of it is that they get a uh, Pendulum Baby Clearwing Dragon, yep. uh, which destroys two Pendulum Scales that equal level 7 to cheat out a Clearwing Synchro Dragon. And the other one that it has to destroy also can search it. Yes, yeah. The one of them activates to search or like place in scale the baby clearwing, and then the clearwing destroys them both to summon clearwing. It's it's just free clearwing. Yeah, it's very good. Here is the problem. It's just clearwing. <laughs> oh no! It's not crystal clearwing. Uh, speaking of crystal clearwing, we get the new crystal clearwing, uh, which is crystal clearwing over synchro dragon, which is a level twelve. Uh, two plus tuners plus one tuner synchro monster. Oh no, sorry, two plus tuners, or one tuner synchro, plus a clear wing synchro dragon. Uh, must be synchro summon. Get out of here, Scotty, uh, one, I mean, it doesn't... It's not a dark. It, the thing can cheat it out. Yeah, it counts as a synchro summon. No, it's not a dark. It has to summon darks, doesn't it? It just has to summon a dragon. Oh, I thought we went through this with Kurt, that it had to be a dark. Anyway. No. How else would they... How would they be getting well, Quasar out if it... I don't know what type Quasar is, or attribute is. Uh, fun fact, it is not dark. <laughs> anyway. Would have known, it's an earth. Uh, one, it's a wind. Uh, once per turn... <laughs> Still wouldn't have been what my second guess was. <laughs> Imagine if it was earth and the rest, because they heaps, heaps of wind locking in the new cards. <laughs> oh no, I'm wind locked in my synchro deck. <laughs> yeah, then it'll be an earth. <laughs> what are you going to do, make a baron? <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, so, back to uh, <laughs> this thing. Uh, once per turn, when another card or effect is activated, negate the activation if you do destroy that card, and if it was a monster, it gains attack equal to its original attack in its turn. If this face-up synchro card leaves the field by your opponent, uh, special summon one clear wing monster from your extra deck. Okay. Yeah. So the boards I've seen are basically this guy, the clear wing crystal dragon, and the other one that came out in the same pack as Baron, but no one really paid any attention to it. Clearing. Crystal Clearing. That one came out, that's it. Crystal Clearing. It was the it had, like, it had like a big, yeah, and it had like the massive yeah. tail. And that one's a spell on Trap Negate, so like you're not mm. completely uh, dead to monsters. Um, and then they get uh, High Speed Roid Glider 2 as well, which is a much better uh, version of the original High Speed Yes. High speed. I just miss High Speed Roid Genbara. Remember when that was an OTK piece? Yeah, I know. I used to play that in my Windwitch um, Invoke deck. I used to play it in Dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, it was super easy in Dinosaurs. Oh, well, we can get to that then. Speaking of Dinosaurs... Speaking of Dinosaurs, Jurak support has been announced for the Terminal World 2 support. Um, <laughs> it seems super useful. It's uh, funny, It yeah. does like to destroy. Oh, shocking. The dinosaurs like to destroy. Pop the baby. Um, I'm not going to read through all of these because I honestly can't be fucked. Um, we'll just read the new synchro, uh, which is Durak Astero. Um, dinosaur needed for the non tuner part. Shocking. Uh, if it's synchro summoned, set a Durak spell trap from your deck or graveyard. If your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters, banish two dinosaurs from your graveyard, negate the summon if you do destroy. 
Uh, during your opponent's turn, banish two Jurak monsters from your graveyard, including this card. Special summon a Jurak Meteor from your extra deck that's treated as a Synchro summon. Um, so they've just defaulted to the cheat out the bad Synchros to but make them good. Stand. Bad? It's amazing. It's the second Nibiru. Yeah. We'll get on to second Nibiru. Yeah. We already covered that last week. Mm, not really. We, we did. Not thoroughly enough. I mean... We definitely covered that thoroughly. We're not talking about yeah, we Nibiru 2 two again. thumbnails in a row about it. But no, yeah. There's, There's so much other meteor. news. Like, my head with the second Meteor went to uh, a Naruto thing. I've been watching a lot of Naruto. Uh, if this was announced on 9-11, yeah? <laughs> Sorry? So I was like, oh yeah, I'm thinking of Naruto. I got open Twitter and it was just... Second Meteor jokes. That might play yeah. God we really are a toxic community. Yes. Um, also announced for the uh, Terminal World support is the new Fables. Um, so these seem kind of cool. Obviously, discard and all that kind of nonsense. Uh, they get their new boss monster, uh, which kind of hints at some other new stuff uh, that might be coming along. The oh, Fabled yeah. Swarm Leversible. I completely forgot about Fable. Keep going. Uh, yep, so once per turn during the main phase, quick effect, tribute any number of Fable monsters, and if you do, take control of that many face-up monsters your opponent controls, but their effects are negated. And if it's in the graveyard, you can target one other Fable card in your graveyard, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, add that target to your hand. So, a bit of a snatch steely action, and get your Fables back in hand so you can discard them to do stuff. I want six Samurai. You'll get six Samurai. Please do not, for the next four weeks, Talk about Six Samurai. Oh, yeah. I do not That's want to hear that much about Six on. Samurai. I just Please, want, I want a combo. Ben. And that's fine. But we don't need to hear about it. Yeah, we talk about Gen X controller and that lets you combo. Okay, but it was mentioned once. <laughs> and I've been thinking about it ever since. <laughs> then stop. Well, no, you can, no, you're free to think. Anyway, moving on to the next combo synchro deck that'll be coming out in uh, the Supreme Darkness. Christron's also got some support. Um, I'm also not going to read these. Uh, they also health, like to destroy. Case. Yeah. I. I mean, they could bring it back. And but Rotter, it would. Yeah. N- it would not get used in this. I think. Oh really? Why? Oh, people like if people were going to play this, they would use it. Yes, but the bulk of usage, unless they do like a very restrictive errata, would be in other decks. I. Would like to see the Marauder just to say summon a Crystron from deck. And it yeah, applies Crystron, it would... complete Crystron as tuners. Or... For both this material. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it significantly worse. Yeah. Um, They're just full set. I would like it, yeah, <laughs> to awful. just say summon a, a Crystron from deck. It would. Uh, they... uh, probably could still be abused. Probably I can't even remember. Be... Did they end up banning Aurorodon? Yes. Okay, cool. As long as Aurorodon stays banned, it probably wouldn't be that bad with that restriction. But if it just locked you to summoning a Christon from deck, oh no, I still have two plush machines. Anywho. Well, part of the issue was that you also would summon the other uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, and then they would make that, you get the token, then you pop the token, and then off to the race as you go. Shout out to the Mercury. Um... What else have we got? Uh, we have, oh, the new trap archetype, which I hate, uh, the ARG stars. Oh. I didn't bother reading these. I'm, yeah, they're, they're, they're like, It was like, play a face up, continuous trap. I was like, and I'm not reading this anymore. Yeah, so it's, I mean, them being effect monsters as trap monsters is kind of cool, um, but, yeah. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've read a single one of these. I was kind of hoping that you did. And it seems like you've read some of it. I read oh, the no, monster. Yeah, yeah I, and I, that was it. Yeah, I I read them last week, and that was so long ago. Out of brain. Anyway, yeah. it's a waifu deck, and I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. Um, so uh, obviously, in the coming week or so, is it next week it releases the team? Megatons this Thursday. This Thursday. That's exciting. Coming so, to an OTS store near you. Maybe. We didn't even know if it's coming to an OTS store near us. Do we get the email? Oh, fuck knows. Um, so we have a full breakdown now of what's actually in the tins. Um, I won't go through it all because the tins are huge. Um, mainly the uh, 25th 
uh, QCRs, I should call them. Yeah. Um, so we've got, uh, I'm just going to read through these as fast as I can. Blue Eyes, the Four Limbs of Exodia, Toon yeah. Kingdom, Anima, Scapegoat, DMG, which we knew. Oh, Anima was one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Torrential Tribute, um, what's its fucking name? Ruby Carbuncle. Um, the it looks so good too. Opening of Spirit Gates, uh, yeah. the hero card that has the multiple heroes on it, mm-hmm. um, Wind Karibo, the yeah. uh, Gaia Fusion. No idea what it is. That's a um, super target. Yeah, sure. Uh, Silver Void Calcos, the gadgets, obviously. Uh, the oh, XYZ awesome. Dragon Cannon, uh, U Bell, Chimera Tech, Honest, uh, Light and Darkness Dragon, uh, the original Red Dragon Arch Fiend, Light Hado, and Darkness actually looks quite good. Uh, Ultimize Zulkan, Blackwing Dragon. What was the card before Ultimize Zulkan? Yeah. I do. Oh, okay. From here, the art looked like Blast with Chain, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Cosmic Blazar Dragon, uh, Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, mm. uh, Speed Road Terror Top, uh, Phantom Knight's Boots, uh, First Movement Solo, Boots. Utopic Dragon Future, Bahamut Shark, Rank Up yeah. Magic Astral Bahamut Force, Bahamut. Coach King, Giant Trainer, Ugh. Shark Drake, yeah. uh, the Gimmick Puppet thing. Yeah, the one on the chair. Yeah, 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 that guy. Fifth Grinder, player. that's it. Yeah. Um, Utopic Double, uh, Orphus Scorpio, uh, Ultimate Ancient Gear Giant, the Fusion Thingy, Titan Red Dragon Arch Fiend, oh, Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon, Link Spider, Trickstar Light oh, Stage, yeah. uh, Pankatops, Boral Load Ooh. Dragon in the alternate art it looks like, <laughs> which is gross, uh, Gazelle and Parallel <laughs> Seed. Okay. Oh, wow, Parallel Seed. I thought that was a random one, yeah. We're not reading the secret rooms. Yeah, yeah, no, However, I know, I know, I know. However, I did allude to this last week, but we didn't want to bring it up because it was a leak and it was unconfirmed. Uh, 99 secret res. Huge pool. All of which, I mean, most of them were also secret res in their packs. Yes. It is dog shit. It will be harder to pull a specific secret rare in these mega tins than it will be to pull those secrets from the set they were released in. Mm. Also... Two of the 99 are tokens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, imagine, that is dog shit. Imagine pulling two tokens from your three packs. Yeah. Even one will be... I don't know. I just... In amongst all of it, SP should have been an ultra rare. Like, it's just... This is the time to do it. Yeah. It, there's no excuse to not do it. Like, obviously, money. But also, there's, there's other ways to make money in this set. That's the one one. I was like looking at going, there's just no excuse. It's... The fact that they put in a hundred just so they didn't have to short print is quite funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I, the, these secret rares look different enough from regular secret rares that I don't really mind them being double secreted because like it's pretty noticeable. Um, it just feels a bit shit though that in recent times they just sort of default to the like standard rarities. They don't like at least for the secrets and ultras they kind of stay the way they are for the most part. Yeah. And especially when they're doing as many secrets as they are. It feels real lazy that they've just gone, it's a secret, now it's a priz. Um, something that I did also notice while looking over this set list, uh, Poplar is in here. Mm-hmm. A card that was released this year, mm-hmm. not last year. Yeah. Um, so they have pulled from an extra set forward to make sure... That is also the case for Ubel. Okay, so Ubel's also... Yeah. The, the, yeah, did they do Phantom games. of Utel? No, but they didn't do Phantom no, of Phantom's Ubel No, Phantom's not in there, stuff. so it's just the first release of Ubel, which is the um, Friend, the Fusion, the DDD, um, and the Spell and the Trap and the other spell. So not Throne. Was this all Throne Phantom Nightmare? Nightmare? Hmm? That was all Phantom Nightmare stuff. No. no. It was Spirit of Ubel. Yeah. So they pulled forward the origi- the new Fusion? Not the Phantom of Ubel, the Loving mm-hmm. Defender. Okay, so the bad fusion, mm. which was in Phantom Nightmare. Yeah, so it's that. But they didn't right. pull forward Nightmare Pain, no. and that that shit. Yeah. So they were again very selective of what they brought forward. They brought forward the shit yeah. and left behind the stuff that had value. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And by the time that it gets reprinted, if they don't do another it run will of it be before the tins, on the it list. will be worthless. Yes. Yeah, it's just them. Yeah, them picking and choosing stuff from this year is. So what? Like 100%. Well, it pretty much all but confirms that, like, next ban list, Snake Eyes is going to get a it, fucking it is punchy. dying. Yes. It uh, all but confirms that Valmonica's got no love. Yeah. No <laughs> Valmonica reprints. They, they all could have just been common. We just didn't notice. 
Did they released this year? Yeah, but they did the um, Centurion. They did stuff from that Death Peel pack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. they just... They just chose what to skip and what to not skip. And... Yeah, like, there's no You know rules. what, though? You know what, though? This could play into your hands. <laughs> New cards. <laughs> so, yeah, you theorised that on the uh, bad counter trap, there was another monster that hadn't been revealed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, potentially, there's other support coming. So we're and there's it. no other reprints. So yeah. Maybe they didn't reprint it because that new card is so busted that they want to sell the old packs. That new reprint is going to be that new card is going to be so insane. All the old stuff is going to skyrocket. I promise I won't be talking about you, Bell, in a month. Not you, Bell. Oh my god, <laughs> Bell Monica. See, I've already forgotten about it. <laughs> new Bell Monica cards coming soon. Uh, well. Yeah, just, OTS we just need one. What was the third? Like, I keep forgetting the third archetype in that pack. Was it Memento? Yes. It was Memento. Oh, yeah, how can I forget? Sorry, Harry. <laughs> Which got reprinted as well. Yes! Some, some of it. Not all of it. Yeah, of course not. Um, just next bit of news. Actually, did we talk about the other two cards in the promo slots? No. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. So we've got... Um, it's not on here, but there's a new synchro. It's like level six, and if it's summoned, you creature swap, and if it leaves the gray, uh, leaves the field, you creature swap. Yeah, I'm and not dodge just... fusion spell. The fusion oh. spell, I don't agree with you. Um, I'm so heavy polymerization. Uh, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using three or more monsters from your hand or field as material. You can also banish monsters from your extra deck as material up to the number of monsters your opponent controls, but you lose life points equal to the total attack of monsters banished this way when the monster is fusion summoned. Mm. Yeah. I kind of like the utility. Yeah, uh, going second, if you just, just, I might whack one of this in Chimera, you can straight up OTK. Okay. But, other than that, like, I haven't really thought about other applications. Another card that doesn't get enough play, which I always thought was kind of cool, was that Greater Polymerization that came out a while back. Ultra Polymerization? No, Greater Polymerization. So, it came around... Yeah, greater. I think it came out just before, mm. around the same time as Chimera, and it had to use three monsters from hand or field, but it gave additional effects to the monster, like it did piercing damage, it could attack twice, okay. um, and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. It just never saw play. Yeah. Piercing and all can't be sure about card effects. So yeah, that on Chimera. What's the third guy? Oh, that's really cool, because it's the original two um, being fused, and then a third one. That's cute. Well done. Blazing Vortex, wow. Ultra ref, ew. Love <laughs> <laughs> Also got a secret rare last year, the tins. Um, <laughs> the year before. Now, we are talking about a little... Um, only like a little while ago, um, in terms of snake eyes being murdered, uh, we have the announcement of the announcement for the OCG ban list. Uh, so it'll be coming into um, effect as of October 1st. Shocking. Um, yeah, not super surprising. Uh, so they're going to be dropping that list on September 23rd, which I believe is next Monday. Is it not? Oh, yeah, podcast. Yeah, not. Um, we're going we're gonna to do a late one next week? No, because they release it at like 10 p.m. We learned not to do that. Sure. Yeah. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how heavily they address Snake Eyes, being that, like, they sort of did a lot of hits, but then Azamina picked up the slack mm. a lot with them. They will just nuke it. I think with no Flame Bush. No more Flame Bush, maybe no more Ash as well, just to be like, well, fuck it. Kind of search the Poplar. Yeah. Fuck you guys. Just, like, the heaviest handed hint of, like, hey, stop playing. Or it could just get more cuts. Like, pop a lot of one. Well, now that Worlds is done, I feel like they would almost want a refresh of stuff to push people into new product or just different product. Six Samurai. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, and then a couple more things before we move on to some questions. Um, did we talk about the we retro didn't. games? They announced more games. Uh, interestingly, Jake... Uh, before you get too excited, this set doesn't actually mention that they translated the games. Uh, it just says that it has five games never released in English. Yeah. One of, one it does of the not say they are translating them. One of the screen caps has English dialogue. Oh, okay. Though, and it looks it doesn't look like the ported one from years ago. Okay. So, but we don't know about the rest of them. Like, Granted, like, you can't 
you can never assume with these things, but I feel like if they would be bothering to release these games in English-speaking countries, they would do the translations. Especially if, for the most part, they're just going to feed it through bots that do the translations anyway. Yeah. Um, but the dialogue won't be. We'll find out soon. So the games that they have announced are the 1998 release of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. It's just the five from that series, except number five. It's oh, yeah, one, two, two, three, four, six. six. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. So you... I never play the Game Boy Color ones. Oh, maybe on an emulator. Uh, oh. I only ever I mean, played... we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever played 2003 World Championship Edition, and I played that game into the fucking ground. I think, what was the one I played? I think it was 2008 that I played. Actually, there was one on, there was one on Game Boy I played. I just can't remember what one it was. Oh, the, all the, I played every advanced game. It was one of the advanced games. I just can't remember which one it was. 2003 um, was the best. However, um, being Stay that these, this is a retro release, they are incentivizing the retro purchase of physical copies uh, by including... They didn't uh, need to do this. I was going to buy it anyway. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, so... Um, the from, A Duster. Yeah, so you get one of the two artworks, which, which is... Um, which one do you want? Oh, I prefer... Um, Red or purple? Pur uh, purple. You purple? I always prefer... Yeah, I prefer purple. I, I get why red's better. But purple's just... Purple's the one that was used in the games. So that's why I like it. Yeah, Kasama? Always annoying me, because... Oh, 100% red. Yeah, red. It was... Um, the red one was in one of the packs over here. Packs, one of the games over it here. It certainly was, and I have that one. In a few different games as well. It's like in one of the Xbox ones, they threw it in. WC4. But yeah, When so that came was, off the ban list, that card was like $200. It was so That secret rare. It Sinister Serpent, and there was another one. And yeah, so I had the Harpy's Feather Duster from the game. I'm like, oh yeah, sick. And then just playing the card in the game. It's the, the other artwork. It's like, the hell? I like the red art because it's the anime artwork. Yeah. Yeah. Which one did they print in Ulti? I can't even remember. Top one. Yeah, okay. I really want one. They're not expensive, I just can't be bothered posting for stuff I want. The purple ones had a good has had good versions too though. Yeah, I mean the, it looks nice in the quarter century. Um Yeah, yellowing up the name's actually pretty cool. We'll see. Golding. Well will we do pack openings of the game? Maybe. <laughs> Tune yeah. in next week to find out more. I mean, you we can... don't have a release date. Don't tell the people. Using <laughs> Feather Duster is appreciated. Yeah. Because, my God. It definitely calls back to the old games. It's another retro kind of callback. Imagine if we were that competitive back then, where it's like, oh, yeah, the only mass board wipe was Heavy Storm was a little while ago coming. The, the one side of mass board wipe, Rigiki's just a super and LOB, but this, you're going to go and buy a $60 game. Yes. I mean, we're going to buy a $60 tin, I guess. I mean, this is coming out on um, Switch as well, so it'll absolutely be a $60 game. And we'll oh, say I mean, a $60 day. game forever. <laughs> I mean, back in the day, like, obviously it's not a problem now. Harpy's Feather Dust is coming out of the loop. Since one started, X, isn't it? When I was a wee laddie, oh, Christ. I went to I Target Shell Harbour to get, just with my, my grandparents, in and my square? grandma and my nan. Yep, well, Shell Harbour Square. It used to just be a shed in a field. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, uh, was a great went to there. Target, and this is back in the day before they gutted games. I don't know why they would just put them on the shelves, and someone had like ripped open the box of oh, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh oh, games no. to take the cards, but left the game behind. It's like they just ripped open the box to take the cards, and the game, they were like, "Fuck it, I don't need the game, just the cards." And like, I wanted it, and then the lady at the shop was like, "We'll do it for ten bucks," and I was like, "Can I please have this, please?" <laughs> Uh, I used to buy all my packs from um, Target and Shell Harbour as well. Back from when I was a less wee laddie. When I was literally 14 and made $20 a week from my part-time job. I got all my packs. Either, if I got legitimate packs, I got them from the EB Games. And I got illegitimate packs from the cheap lady in Oak Flats. Ah, uh, the card lady. Yeah, Oak Flats card lady. Uh, finally on some news, we've got uh, the new QCR special card for Supreme Darkness, which is the Paladins of Bonds and Unity. Uh, so the last one was the Fusion. Uh, this one is the Synchro. Uh, so it requires one tuner plus one non-tuner monster with 2,500 original attack and defense. Uh, the Synchro summon cannot be destroyed or targeted by your opponent's card effects. Um, gains 100 attack and defense for each card on the field and in the graveyard while there are 24, five or more cards in your graveyard. 
and once per turn when you're when a spell card is activated and your opponent has 25 or more cards in their graveyard quick effect to negate the activation if you do destroy that card this should have been a contact fusion between the two promos yeah true did i just dream them saying the final quarter centuries with this year yes oh so, they said it was coming soon Ah, oh, yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah, cool. So, but we'll yeah. still be getting in February then. Yeah, they said Bonanza means we're getting close to the end. Okay. Not the end, we're getting close to the end. Right. Yeah. So, but it, yeah, Supreme Darkness will hopefully be the last that we see of QCRs. And what then... will we get in replacement? We're back to the four Starlight Rares, or will we get Starlight Rares? Just printed 25 in a box, in a case. Um, I kind of want so, them to go back to Starlights, but I feel like they won't. I feel like it's just been can we get a pain in the back? That would be cool. They, will, they will do it and then give us this shit once. Yeah, I could see that happening. Could they not just keep that foiling, but have a different stamp instead of the 25th? 30th. It's time to start the 30th. Get it out, get it out early. Or the 28th. 26th. Yeah, you do. I imagine it just skips the 27th. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely already there. All right, so moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, the link is in the description below for our Discord. Jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, only the one question this week from 6 r 6 His question is, what, which normal monster do you hate the most? And is it because of the Ooh. artwork, the flavor text, or the Ooh. deck mechanic that it depends on? It's Cockroach Knight needs to die. <gasps> it's too big. Not Cockroach Knight. Cockroach Knight's too big. But he was so helpful. In Squish. Prisman Squish. <laughs> How dare you? Prisman Squish is going to kill the cockroach, mate. Oh, you're saying Prisman is going to kill yeah, the cockroach? it's going to squish it. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying to no, squash Prisman. No, the Prisman is going to squish cockroach night for us. Sorry, right. Tiger. Because it's not a lion. Mm. Or a dark. Shining yeah. Ball. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I hate it too. <laughs> he hates balls. Um, I think my... I think... In terms of original, like basic monsters, I think it has to be the Sun Avalon thing. Okay. Oh yeah. It's because you don't like it being sun. Uh, <laughs> well, that's the thing. It's just the herald of a whole bunch of plant fuckery that I really don't want to have to look at. Yeah, okay. Sure. Maybe the Spiral Serpent because it was so disappointing. You know how you out uh, Sun Avalon? Slifer. Oh, that's what I was missing. Also out to you, Bell. They just keep summoning them and then they destroy and then they flip to another that destroys. And then you deck your opponent out because they've got the thing that lets them draw every time one's destroyed. This wasn't the question, but I do love Gora Turtle. And I like the friends that we made in this game, by the way. I appreciate you too. And I appreciate Aww. your listeners. That absolutely wasn't a question. <laughs> it wasn't even part of the question. <laughs> no, but I feel better saying it. I feel like Bragg was pulling up comments from YouTube as well before, but do we not have comments? Uh, nothing constructive. Positive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that dramatic finish. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you are listening, feel free to favourite. YCS your... Sydney got announced. We missed oh, that. oh, fuck, yeah, yeah, that's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. YCS Sydney, uh, February 28th? The weekend of the 28th. So the 1st and 2nd of March. Yes. Uh, which is uh, the last day of Billy Eilish being in Sydney, which is making accommodation real, real bad. Yeah, it's not that. Oh, bad. and also, um, I think Green Day got announced for the week after. Oh, that's fine. Wait, at a, we're being bookended. At, at, at kudos. Yeah. Oh. Green Day would. I uh, surely Green Day's at ANZ. Oh, hang on, I have a message which will confirm this. Green Day play stadiums. Still, they did last time they were here. Fucking 2003. Uh, I, think, I think it was like 2013. It wasn't not recently. Oh, sorry. It's N NG Stadium. Oh, so they're playing at uh, the place across the road. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, we're giants. <laughs> giants. That's weirdly becoming a concert place because Pearl Jam is also playing that venue. Oh, I mean, the, the good sound wave, we went in there. And I only remember that being there for every sound wave. Uh, we, I th no, actually, yeah, you're right, yeah. I thought they set up a stage outside at once and it was like, oh, why don't you just let us in? It'll be way better. I remember every sound wave I went no, to was in there and then towards the end they were doing it in the ANZ as well. Yeah.
but the shit that I wanted to see was always in there. <laughs> Um, so with that, um, they've announced it obviously for the date in February, but the tickets release this Friday. Thursday. At, isn't it Friday? I don't know. I, I thought, thought it was Friday. the 20th. I'm going to check all the days. I'm pretty sure it's the 20th at 10 a.m. Yeah. My brain had listed it as Friday as well. Yes. I need to remember that. We need to all The man with this. the eidetic memory does not remember. <laughs> oh, my issue is that it'll be two hours after and then I'll go, oh yeah, that. Well, I don't know if it's going to be as mad a rush as other years. It's going to be a mad rush. Get your tickets straight away. <laughs> Everyone panic! <laughs> Actually, take your time. There's going to be tons of tickets. Yeah. Ben's going to buy them all. Well, now we have scalpy. the upstairs room. Like, it's way easier. Please switch it this time. Yeah, in my mind, it makes more sense for the people that are doing well to be elevated and away yeah, from the scrubs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> our principal skinner. <laughs> uh, so, uh, where was I? Yes, end of podcast. Uh, like, subscribe, favorite, uh, Discord link. Catch you bye. Peace. Bye.